Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have for you today is the pose video for the high grade Sinanju style narrative version. Now the reason I'm kind of pushing this up uh, rather than the Moon Gundam or the Love Phantom is because I want to hurry up and you know just start my painting process. Uh, so basically I'm going to go ahead and take care of this and start moving on to the other kits as well. Uh, but ultimately, you know, definitely want to go ahead and get some poses with this kit, uh, especially since a lot of people really love this. I uh, kind of want to put it out there a little bit earlier than the other two. To, um, mainly just because the Love Phantoms isn't really favored by a lot of people and I think a lot of others have already covered uh, much of the Moon Gundam so let's go ahead and just do a little bit more coverage of the Sinanju Stein. So like all the other pose videos we're essentially going to be doing three poses. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a little fast bit of me putting it in that pose and then I'll go ahead and do a nice little 360 of it afterwards. So let's go ahead and move on to the first pose. And here's the pose. So basically what I did is just kind of had a little dashing pose. Uh, I don't really do too many of these, you know, basically without utilizing the weapon and a kind of attacking pose. So this one's just kind of like he's actually just kind of dashing through, maybe just going through maybe some asteroids and that's why he has the uh, the shield up there just to kind of block some of, block some of them uh, coming through but ultimately I just wanted something a little more simple for the fo uh, first pose before I start moving into uh, some of the ones that's going to utilize the main weapons uh, but I do like this and you can definitely utilize the thrusters to your advantage uh, the ones on the backpack or the ones that are on the side of the legs um, so if you want to go ahead and bend them backwards or you know however you want to do it You could definitely go ahead and pull off some nice little dashing poses with this and if you have some of those like um, Figure like figure eyes effect parts. It's really gonna make it stand out a little bit more just if you have like the little uh, Wind ones or you know the thruster effects So ultimately just try and use what you can to your best abilities and I'm pretty sure you can definitely get some cool shots with those And here is the second pose. Uh, basically, I wanted to pull off something with the dual beam savers and be a little bit goofy with it. Uh, so I just went ahead and did some kind of like weird. I don't, this isn't like this is like the most unrealistic pose that would ever exist. Uh, but I thought it looked pretty cool. So one is kind of like a backward stance with the uh, the one beam saver, and then in the other hand, I just kind of like had it kind of just coming down almost over the other arm to I guess maybe to block. Uh, but once again, it's it's pretty silly and pretty out there. So it's kind of up to you if this is like a pose that you would like to pull off. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all can maybe figure out some other poses that are more realistic with the beam sabers that just look, you know, so much better. Uh, but I mainly kind of showcase this because it's okay to, you know, kind of be a little goofy and uh, just pull off something that is more unique to a mobile suit that is you know not really to its uh character i would say but ultimately that's just the kind of like style i wanted now something like this would look you know per probably pretty good with the red frame astray but uh you know let's just go ahead and let our hairs down and try something new And here is the third and final pose. So basically what I wanted to do is use that bazooka and the way I utilized it is I just wanted to use the extra hand as a support mechanism for the overall uh, beam rifle because once you add in that um, bazooka part it becomes extremely heavy and the mobile suit, well the kit itself cannot you know just hold it up without proper friction because that ball joint in the wrist is just going to weaken and it's just going to bring the entire arm down. So with the other hand basically assisting, you can give it a pretty nice steady, um, you know, streamlined shot. So I went ahead and just utilized that and kind of, you know, twisted the body a little bit, 
angle the feet, and bam, now you have a nice little pose right here. Uh, but once again, it's all up to y'all. You know, I'm pretty sure y'all can de definitely pull off some pretty nice poses on your own. Uh, but hopefully, this you know series can actually help you out. Maybe give you a couple pointers here and there when it comes to posing. Maybe kind of give you some fresh ideas. Or if you want to just go ahead and carbon copy one of these, you're definitely more than welcome to. And I hope it looks pretty good on yourself. Uh, but other than that, I definitely appreciate all of you. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Uh, just stay tuned for more reviews and more pose videos in the future. I do have a lot lined up. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get to all of them in a time and manner, essentially. But thank y'all for watching once again, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.